notes? No, nothing. Yeah. He didn't seem like the sort to do that kind of thing. Yeah. On the contrary, in fact. CCTV? No, it was off. Ed How does it feel to be back in your room? Nice. That's good to hear. Is there something on your mind? Hmm? No? You can tell me, you know. Whatever it is. I won't breathe a word of it to no one. Of course, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Sometimes it's good to hold your wish. It's pity more people didn't follow suit, huh? We're going to need to put this thing behind us, all of us. You know that, don't you? Just like that? Yes, just like that. No, you know. You know, in time, sooner or later. No, well, I'm writing another story. The long and the short of it by Jenny Rain. There's pictures too, very good. Who's that fella? Captain Galaxy, her stern father. This is a fantasy. Don't make our father too stern, huh? She was off to bed. Overcome. They're fears they joined us this morning. Help. I spoke to the coroner. There's nothing conclusive on his banner yet. What do you think? Money worries. A broken heart. Something else? The rain thing, you mean? Maybe. Yeah, better start asking around. No, no, I'm not. I'm not sleeping very well. Um, I just keep thinking, of, like, about what happened. More about what could have happened to Jenny. Well, the way I look at it is you either deal with it or go under. I mean, the nervous system is a very complex thing. And that, for instance, is constantly on edge, day and night. I mean, her, her nerves were always a jangle, long before this even happened. Like. Jenny, of course, is another matter. I mean, I don't even want to go there, but... I mean, she, she don't mind, you know. She's adopted, so... That, of course, is its own set of problems, as I'm sure you can imagine. What are you worried about? My mum? 
She's not the same. You have to help her. And what about your dad? Oh, yeah. I don't envy you your job there. You have your work cut out for you dealing with them too, I can tell you. No customer service here, no? Depends on what you're buying. I won't know that until you sell it to me. Oh, no, no, no. Well, bye. The old GG's, eh? Yep. Any luck? Ah, you know. You lose some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eleven letters. Fruit of the dead. No. What's up with you anyway? This rain affair. The kidnapping, yeah? What about it? It's bothering me. Oh, I can imagine. Tell you the truth, I don't know who in their right mind would bother their whole abducting that fella in the first place. Jeez, you wouldn't be long bringing him back, I tell you that. How well do you know him? I grew up in the same street. Buffers Lane, you know. What was he like then? Snotty-nosed little brat. Fifty-yard stare. An antichrist, my mother would say. Oh, yeah. Proper little banker. Still. I haven't heard nothing on the grapevine, if that's what you're after. Fair enough. I have to ask. Pomegranate. What? Fruit of the dead. P O M E. Ah, spell it yourself. But look, I can meet you there in half an hour. Perfect. Great stuff. Hey, Frank. It's Nick. Yeah, Des thinks he's found a buyer from Malabar. They're on their way there now. I just thought you'd like to know. Thanks. stretches right back beyond those dunes there. Right up to the woodlands at the rear, in fact. Oh, yeah. Go on, Ed. Desi! Desi! What are you doing? This is still my land. I think you'll find the bank paid for this, man. Who are they? They're the big boys, Frank. And they've got the money. This is my land. My project. It was your project, Frank. Are you punishing me for something, Desi? I mean, do you get joy out of doing this, or what? Joy? Now, there's a word. Morn and I dreamt this whole thing up together. Private beach, old-fashioned hotels, salty spas, what have you. Classy. It's going to be classy. But I don't suppose you know what it's like to have a dream, do you, Desi? No. No, I can't say that I do. What is it between me and you, anyway? We're like two drunks dancing in the snow. I go left, and you go right. Maybe we're with the yin and yang of each other, Frank. The yin and yang boy. No, I don't think so, Desi. Because you're not the other side of anything, as far as I can see. And you're definitely not the other side of me. There's my of word. Oh, well, here we go. I'd say we'll close this deal within the month. See ya.
the trouble been? What kind of trouble? The worst kind. What do you mean? What is it? The rain thing. What? How did you get dragged into that? Frank Mallon. One minute I'm selling cars, now I'm on the run. No, Blake and Keith were here looking for you. Oh, shit. Here, hang on. Stay at my place if you want. Go look for me there. Hold on. You need to get away here. Where? I don't know. Here. Frank Mallon owes me ten grand. I'm not going anywhere without it. Frank Mallon, Jesus. Ten years more like it. Here, take it. I'm sorry. For letting you down. Letting yourself down. Ruining your own little life. Here, take it. Just we'd some good times together, don't we? Danny! of Ines, Jenny and myself, I uh, just wanted to express our gratitude and how touched we are that we have so many great colleagues and friends to rally around us in our hour of need. Uh, it was a terrible thing that happened three days ago, but here we are, back in the bosom of our community, in our own home, completely unscathed. We're here, we're strong and we're moving on. Thanks again. All right, Jen. Hey, Philip. It's snowy. Yeah, what do they call you these days? Pixie? What are you drinking? Lemonade. You take this, give me that. What is it? Vodka. I want to have a taste. This could get you in real trouble. Me in trouble? You're the one drinking it. It's water. That's a miracle. <laughs> you know you should tell me if you're in trouble, Jen. I'll come to your rescue. I need to talk to you, can I come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the young one in? No, no, she's out. That's the usual. Cup of tea or coffee? No, it's the gun, can't let Oh. 
I vouched for you. I advised Danny to take the job, convinced him. What do you do? You stab me in the back. You dream up this plan, and you get Danny to do your dirty work for you, and then you sell him down the river, and you're nowhere to be seen. I'm trying to look for him. I'm trying to help him. I'm going to help him. To right, you'll help him. You give him whatever he wants, whatever he needs, money, tickets out of here, whatever, right? I'll fix this, Ben. I swear to God, I'll fix it. You better. Because the next time I put you down, you won't be getting back up again. I had nothing to do with it, eh? I had nothing to do with it. Where's my money? I don't know where the money is, Danny. No one has a stash somewhere. That was part of your master plan too, was it? What, do you think you need the money more than I do, is this? I want to help you. That's very nice of you, considering any food. Eh? How are you sleeping? How am I sleeping? How are you sleeping, more to the point? Or who are you sleeping with? Yeah, I want to help you. I will help you, but you have to promise me to stay away from Karina. Do we have a deal? You think you can do a deal? Are you fucking blind? I mean, they're gonna kill me, Frank. And trust me, Frank, you won't be too far behind. That's what I'm saying. We have to stick together, Danny. We have to. I mean, the two of these lads, they're not messing, trust me. Who told you to stay away from them? Hmm? Yeah, well, we're the far side of the river for that now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Thanks to you. Come on. What do you say? I'll have a sniff of deja vu off this, Frank. What could I have to go? Give me keys. Fetch. How will I find you? Ask your daughter. Right, that's the background checks on the bank staff. Happy days. Yeah? Embezzlement. Six months. Who gave him a job in a bank? Huh? We need a few more hands on deck. Right. Do you want me to give the lads in Ross Lair a shot? You're joking. Made a hames of a station the last one. Would you take something for this? Miss Gilroy. Nancy. How long have you been working at the bank? Two years. Long enough to get to know the day-to-day -day procedures? Yeah. And is it normal procedure to take nearly a million euro and put it in the outer vault, which doesn't even have a time lock? Whatever Mr. Rain says is normal procedure. Whatever Mr. Rain asks you to do. Did you discuss the events at the bank with anyone on Friday evening? No, Ernie Jones. That's me, yeah. Tell me again, how did you get this job, Ernie? Well, I met Mr. Rain up at the boxing club. Oh, that's right. You do a bit of refereeing up there, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Break, box, stop, huh? Pardon? Break, box, stop, the only three words that the referees are allowed to say. Well, in the amateur game only, no. Mm. Does he know that your real name isn't Jones? No. Oh, 
You're going to tell me that he doesn't know you have a, a criminal conviction. What have you got here, Ernie? That's right. Charge of embezzlement. In Reading. Slow. That was a misunderstanding. What did you get? Six months? Suspended. Suspended. <laughs> I'd have been bringing in late lodgements for a while, you know. A couple of weeks, I told him. This would be the last time we'd take him off his hands. So you had to get Mr. Rain's permission? Well, I asked Mr. Rain what he thought we should do with it. He said stick him in the outer vault until Monday. Hmm. What's your position at the bank again? I'm assistant branch manager. Do you like your job? Yeah, as much as anyone, yeah. Do you have any debts? No. No, it's same as anyone else, man. Mortgage, car loan. Yeah? What are we getting at here? I suppose you'd better come in with me. Ben. Oh, Mr. Rand, thanks for coming down. Just be a sec. Uh, I was wondering if we could have a word in the office, maybe. What? Hello, Jenny? Oh, uh, um, you, you wait here. I just wanted to know that I think what happened to you and your family was a disgrace. I mean, nothing gives anyone the right to do a thing like that. Nothing. Okay. And I'm not siding with him now or anything, but I have a feeling one of the lads in the club had something to do with it. And as I say, I'm not condoning what he'd done, but Sometimes lads are talked into things, you know. They're led astray, because cause they're easily led these lads, you know. Well, you know, they're there for the taking, like. That might very well be the case, Ben. But this lad you're talking about is going to have to learn the meaning of the word repercussion. Yeah, I know, and you're right. There should be repercussions. But supposing this lad agreed to help in some way? To talk to someone? To grass, you mean? Cooperate. That's between him and the law, then. As far as I'm concerned, he's already banished from the garden. Whoever he is, and wherever he is. This is Danny's room. I know. So what are you doing up here? Nothing. Are you allowed up here? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? 
Are they all his trophies? Some of them. There's a rake in the cabinet downstairs. Yeah. I love his face. And the poster, I mean. Hey, that's Danny's. Yeah, I know. He um, gave it to me. Yeah, when? One time. Jenny? Hey, where are you? Daddy? What are you doing up here? Go wait in the car for me. Go ahead. I wish we could run away somewhere. Somewhere warm with blue skies and mountains. Far away from here. You mean like a holiday? You want to go on a holiday? Your life already is a holiday, Karina. What are you running away from? Your big house, your comfy bed? Yeah? This is my town. I don't belong anywhere else but here. You want to head somewhere? Be my guest. Yeah, head for the hills. Without you. Karina, I've never ended up on the right side of anything in my life, and I have no reason to believe that this time is going to be any different. So, yeah, without me. I just wanted to come and see how you and Jenny are doing. Oh, this is lovely. Come on in. Okay. I've got a better picture of him. Oh, here. So that's Captain Guy in his kind of background story. I think I have another one somewhere. Jenny, how was it? it must have been horrible. I'm okay. I just want to say that Danny was nice to me on that day. He's your boyfriend, isn't he? He looked out for me. Danny. You can't be sure it was him, though. I mean, you didn't see his face, did you? No. But I'm sure it was him. Don't worry, I'm not gonna say anything. I really hope he gets away with it. All right, Karina, how's it going? Pull over, Karina. Pull over. I need you to give Donny Dempsey a message for me. Karina. Karina! Hey! Come in!
was talking to her mommy earlier. She wants you to go over to her. When? As soon as possible. She's concerned about you. I was followed today. By who? Some guy, he knew my name and he asked about Danny. Are you okay? Yeah, I gave him the slip. Where were you? I was coming back from the rain's house. Oh, Karina, what were you doing there? I was seeing if they're okay. Why? Because someone should be concerned about them. Well, okay, that's it. You're definitely going over to your mother now. I'm not going anywhere without Danny. Danny Dempsey. What is it? Do you think you can save him or something? You can't save Danny Dempsey, Karina. He's a lost cause. You can talk. Tom. There you are. In the market for a new squad car, are you? <laughs> What's going on? Ed Banner. What about him? You didn't hear. I heard. No love lost. I've known Ed Banner since he was that high, Tom. He was a prick then and dead or alive, he's still a prick now. Yeah. What were you doing down the casino that night? You were seen leaving. Yeah, well, I was picking up the keys of a car he was never going to buy. Oh, yeah? What was his farm like? He's all right. He didn't seem down to you, no? No. Yeah. Trouble is, why would a man who was going to do something like that go to the trouble of taking a car for a test drive? I don't know. We're all under pressure, I suppose. I suppose you don't really know what's going on in the man's head, do you? What's going on, Frank? What do you mean? The world, I mean. I tell you what's going on. Them that have it gets to keep it. That's what's going on. <laughs> Might be right there. I am right. Send someone down later to take a statement. About Ed Banner, I mean. Lloyd Hogan passed it to Dio Keith, who passed it to Lee Moog, from Lee Moog back to the goalkeeper from over 40 yards away. He turns, passes it out to Joe Kelly, from Joe Kelly to Andy Mullen. Andy, Andy, Andy. How about this? We get a poster of Danny and offer it to her as a straight swap, the poster for the brooch. By right, we shouldn't be giving her anything. She swiped that brooch from Danny. I know, but it's better we do it this way. If we get those gloves back to Danny, he'll know we're on his side. And what good is that going to do us? From Joe Kelly to Andy Mann, who was running so fast! <laughs> Will you go out and get some more coal for me before you go? Yeah, of course not. Don't have you no bother. <laughs> How long has he been here? He came for his lunch. Why? Because that fella is now right in the head. He is my grandchild, Desmond. Jenny is your grandchild. But you know we all love Jenny. Oh, do we? Here you are, Nan. Keep you going for a while, huh? Ah, good boy. Oh, hang on now while I...
I don't want you annoying her anymore, do you hear me? I'm not. You are annoying her. I don't want you hanging around here anymore. You're not welcome here. So stay away from here altogether in the future. What happened to that young one you were knocking around with? Oh, I heard she's going with Danny Dempsey these days. Is that right? Oh, yeah, you can't even hang on to horror, can you? I mean, what does that tell you? I don't know. What? That you're a loser. Are you wanting a cup of tea? Why not? Sammy, you ever see that film? Boulders, craters, bodies all over the place and all, you know? <sighs> Lads crawling through the moor, slithering like snakes on their bellies. Fucking nuts or what? Come on, Em. Hang on, now. Hold on. Come on, Shep. Come on. Shep's like what he sees, don't you, Shep? Come on. Uh, it likes the smell of it and all, you know? Straight swap. Post up for the gloves. And see. No, we won't see Keith. We have to get them gloves back for Danny because you said it yourself. He didn't give it to her. She stole it. And that's a felony. Hi, uh, is Jenny in? Is she expecting you? No. Okay, come in. Hey, what's going on? We got you this. Like it? So, have you got something for us then? Sorry? Uh, what do you mean? Just like I thought. Nothing. The gloves. The boxing gloves. We'd just like to see them again. What's going on here? Well, they just came to visit me, that's all. What for? The poster. Show it to me. Danny Dempsey, huh? Suppose you think he's a big hero, don't you? He is. He's not. A hero does what's right and stands his ground. You don't run away at the first sign of trouble. You don't just bail out on everybody. James Connolly, hero. Porrick Pierce, hero. Michael Collins, hero. Eamon de Valera, hero. See that fella there? You know what he is? He's a quitter. Do you know what I think of quitters? That's what I think of quitters. Now, you boys ought to be making your way home. Go on. We 
can get you another one if you want. No, better not. Um, no. Just make him angry. Anyway. I thought we were going to stop the poster for the gloves. Yeah, I know, but... Not to worry. Oh, you stole it. But she stole it first. You shouldn't have taken it. What are you worried about for? She's not worried about you. You never said she was. You are. You're going on about her all the time. I tell you, you to wash yourself. She stole them clothes from Danny. But don't forget. Yeah, well. <sighs> what do you think, Eve? Suck me? No, take it off. Why? In case someone sees it. No one's going to see it. Danny be delighted we got these back for you. Shh. Snowy, see him? Over there. Shut your eyes open. That's all I asked you to do. Jesus. I'm sorry, Danny. Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, come out here. Nancy, come out here. We have to bring a snowy white now here as well. Keep your mouth shut. The two of you stay here. Nancy. Well. Taking it. Now, what is up with you? Just came to pay homage to your little love nest. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. Is she in there, no? Who? Karina? No. Good. Lucky for her. Go home, Snowy. Please. Yeah, go home, Snowy. Before you get a good slap to yourself. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah, you're a bit of a what you call it. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Unfortunately for you, I don't abide by those rules. You what? Put that down now. Twinkle, twinkle. Put it down, I said. 